Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Brightman, and what we're going to do this time through is we're going to um, export a terrain from Bryce to Carrera uh, to be used in Carrera. Um, now one of the reasons you might want to do this is, uh, and one of the main reasons is the um, the editor on the terrain editor for Bryce is so much more. There are so many more options, and you can use the brushes that come with it. Um, uh, there's just a lot more options. Um, so we've loaded up a terrain, jumped into the editor, and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut away. If you click this box right here, if you don't see this, click this box right here, and then you can cut away the edges just like this. And now you have a nice uh, free-flowing uh, little uh, terrain. And that's pretty much what we want. Okay, let's go ahead and put a texture map on it. And there's some texture maps in terrain, vegetation, and this greenage from clay Hagen, hage brush or hage bush, um, greenage, very nice texture, exports really well. So now we've got our mountain and we've got our texture. Uh, Let's go ahead and export this bad boy to uh, Carrera. Uh, jump into edit again. And uh, export. And I like to uh, export as LightWave. Uh, I've got Moto as a modeler, and I can uh, throw it into uh, Moto if I want to, put a cave or whatever in it. Um, and Raydream is really, really slow. It's an old format, and I don't know if Carrera doesn't play well with it or what, but it takes a long time to export. So anyway, uh, I like using Lightwave. Uh, you can also use USGS uh, digital elevation maps, too. Those go really quickly. So, um, yeah, let's do the Lightwave. And we're going to save it as Lightwave 6 Mountain. I already have one there. Replace it, and then your um, terrain exporter comes in. Now it says here uh, that the model is 6,268 polygons. Let's go ahead and bump that up with this little blue slider here to about 50,000. You notice the detail starts coming out. The more polygons you have, the more detail you're going to have. And you can export it as real high resolution texture maps and uh, real high uh, polygon count. Um, terrain but uh, yeah it's going to take a long time so let's just pretend that we've set everything at max and that we're exporting it and export the terrain and we're done with Bryce oh we're almost done with Bryce I'm going to do one more thing here too I'm going to um, export the image this image right here and uh, I'm going to call it Carrera Mountain 3. And I'll save it as a Photoshop file. And this is going to give us something to play with when we're in Carrera 2. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. Let's go ahead and jump out of uh, Bryce. Don't need it anymore. And I've already exported a, uh, a texture from uh, Bryce or a, a terrain from Bryce and uh, loaded it up in here and I've left it I left it at the size that it came in at it they come in pretty small now uh, you'll notice right here that um, when you render there are little blotches all over the place uh, for some reason um, Bryce exports as uh, uh, it exports um, a, a tiled map so let's go ahead and do something about that. Let's fix that. You go over here and you notice that it's mapped over the entire top of the thing. Let's keep it like that. Jump into transform and what this is is, is it scaled it down. So let's go ahead and put that at is it 1 or 100? Yeah, let's go 100. Could be wrong. 
I probably am. That's what that looks like. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it's one. 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 And one. There you go. And let's go ahead and put that overall at two. And now your texture map has come in. Now you notice that when you loaded it, when I loaded this up, um, it came in with the texture map being the um, bump map. Now that everything's sized the way it should be, let's go ahead and copy this and paste it into bump. And let's find the texture map that we really want to use for the color. Uh, texture map. Oh, duh. And you notice that when you exported your your terrain, they uh, they exported with uh, with uh, ambience, bump, and diffuse color. Let's go ahead and open that up. Open that. And now you have your map exported, imported into uh, Carrera, but you'll notice that it's been pinched on the sides a little bit. You know, the map kind of pinches inwards because the uh, the mesh has been deformed. Um, that's fine. You can you can uh, fix that with uh, bigger texture maps or um, you know editing in Photoshop. But let me show you something else that uh, Carrera does. Now you notice the very last thing I did with the with Bryce was I exported a map, um, and I did that for a reason because you can take that map and bring it in here, go into the map editor, import the Carrera Mountain Three. Remember that thing right there? Bring it in like that. And now you have another map. Now you have your um, mountain loaded up as a mountain that you can edit in Carrera if you do like their map editor. Which is pretty cool, but it's no Bryce. And you see how that's come in. And one cool thing about this, too, is you can drop your shader on there and you get more Brycean results. Huh? How's that? Anyway, uh, that's how you do that. That's how you get your um, Bryce terrains over into Carrera. Uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kreitman, and I'll talk to you again later.